Welcome back to Big Burst TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your watch as a compass. I always wondered, you know, with the Alpinist coming out and, and all of that, I always wondered how to use my watch as a compass. So today, I'm going to be using my field watch. Um, I like going camping and being in the outdoors, you know, enjoying nature, enjoying creation. So uh, I thought, hey, how can I find the cardinal directions using my watch? Well, stick around and I'll show you exactly how. Here, here we go. So what you're going to need is a watch, the sun, and it's important that your watch is set to the correct time. Okay, so right now it's uh, one, almost 1.57 in the afternoon. And what you want to do is the hour hand of your watch, you want to point that directly at the sun. Well, not at the sun, but you want to point it in the direction of the sun. So the sun right now is facing this way. But to get a more accurate measure of the sun the way it's facing you don't want to look directly at the sun you can use something like a stick or a twig you put it in the ground say this was that stick and where the shadow is that's exactly which way the sun is facing so if i point my hour hand lining up with that shadow we have it now to take the measurement you want to find the area Draw an invisible line directly between the hour hand after you took your measurement pointing at the sun and the 12 o'clock. And right directly down the center of that. For this instance, let's say the one o'clock mark, maybe just a little bit before one o'clock. That's south. So south is in effect facing this way. I'm going to I'm going to try to edit this where I could draw a line showing exactly um, what I'm doing here but I'll move the watch closer for the south. Alternatively, if you didn't have a stick or something to get that, you know, that shadow line to line up your hour hand, what you can do is you can use as long as the sun is shining brightly, you can use the shadow of your second hand and let's say we had the watch positioned this way. We want to hold it perpendicular to the ground. As soon as, if you're looking directly down on the watch face, as soon as that second, the shadow of the second hand disappears, you know it's lined up correctly. So it disappeared right there. So that's how we can get that bearing. Just to double check, let's do this again the old twig method okay but then you might say well if you lean that twig if that twig is leaning let me not write on my table here don't want to die today uh, if you move that twig the shadow moves but actually if the shadow does move you just move the second hand to line up with the shadow so for instance the shadow is here you're still going to get south if the shadow moves to here pointing at the one o'clock you still get south so you want to line it straight up straight up and down you don't want to have this tilting the stick or twig whatever you use you don't want to have it tilting and you don't want to have the wash tilted you want to have this straight up and down. That'll give you the most accurate measure of the sun. And you point that hour hand directly lining up with that shadow. I think I have it lined up. And when I say now, the second hand will be facing south. Now. So that's due south. And obviously, right behind that opposite south will be north so if one o'clock is south then seven o'clock is north so you know that uh north is that way okay so the other adjustment with this is uh daylight saving time so and this is for the northern hemisphere in america or anywhere in the northern hemisphere which is north of the equator 
Um, where I live here in New York, the, we observe daylight savings time for whatever reason. So um, you would just change out that noon for one o'clock to compensate for the hour that we sprung ahead this spring. So instead of measuring between the hour hand and the 12, you measure between the hour hand and the one, and that'll give you uh, due south. So we did the stick, sun is facing this way, measure between the hour hand and the one, and the sun looks like is facing due south, maybe a little southeast, but in a survival situation or whatever you would use this for, you would know um, the opposite of that would be north and to head north for whatever reason. And I could probably think of a few reasons to head north or south. I watched maybe way too many survival videos, but that's it. Uh, let me know if I screwed anything up in this video and uh, <laughs> give it a thumbs up if you liked it, okay? And, you know, feel free to comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Big Briss out.